Another thing that we found a lot of success with is using trigger words. So how, what, best, uh, where, uh, and that applies to every languages of the world. We all pretty much ask questions the same way using the same triggered words. So make sure whatever your language or whatever your business is that you use these trigger words. Um, voice search is typically on mobile uh, as well as using Alexa as of the world and often focus on local results. For example, uh, you guys just for you know fun later on, you can just ask Siri, what's the best hotel in Casablanca? And the Hyatt did not come up in the results. And I was in Hyatt when I did the search. So that tells you that there is even where we are today, they're missing opportunities to come up organic or you know on voice search. One question I always get asked, and I recently just did an interview for a big hospitality magazine. They're like, okay, well, all you're saying is true and this is happening and we can see it. But how can you use, let's say, Alexa or Google Home outside of the house? Well, Marriott, Best Western, and some other hotels are already testing voice search devices in hotel. I happened to have stayed in a hotel a few months ago where I didn't interact at all with anybody. The whole experience was on voice. I, log I went to my room, ordered room service. I asked Alexa, when is my first meeting tomorrow? Um, you know, what's the weather like? What are the hours of the business center? Literally, Alexa had all the answers that I wanted, so I didn't have to interact with no one during that trip, which was kind of great. Uh, I felt like it was super efficient for both employees and guests. And I wanted to include a case study of this company is truly disrupting the industry, and it's called Volara. To start with, our would be different, be creative, be thinkers. If you get it, an S in math that doesn't make me stupid, and maybe there are A students or something else. So what we really need to do is let our kids think and also let them fail. While I agree with Danny and a lot of the speakers, uh, we're seeing a trend, whether we like it or not, especially among the teens. They type or just be faster than the type, if that's even possible, because I always feel like the younger generation types so quick. I mean, they make me feel old, you know, born in the 80s. Um, so over half of the U.S. students and 21% of U.S. adults use voice search daily. Um, a lot of, of course, is informative, like what do you have, what do I have today, or can you text Jenny, or can you? So a lot of it is like these basic things that we're doing. But what we start seeing a lot of is brands uh, creating skills to make their customers' experience a lot interactive. Uh, I always like to talk about some of the early adopters. I think the American Heart Association did fantastic by creating skill, for example, allowing people like um, to ask questions like how to perform CPR, as basic as that. So imagine you know, being in that situation and not wanting to Google or watch a video and just ask a device and they can walk you through how you can perform CPR.